Hey guys, it's Jesse here from the Beard Synopsis Lab on behalf of Waffen Dair Whisker Beard Oil. Starts us off. Get your BSL swig going here. It's a nice angry orchard uh, dry cider. Highly recommend it. Oh, fantastic. Nice, refreshing summer ale. Um, no, so here we are. Uh, we're on week two. Uh, just wrapping up week two of the Waffen Dare Whisker oil. Got the entire product line going. Um, every scent they have available, including an unreleased one. Um, and a special surprise I'll tell you about later. Uh, so the crafter, Matt Beaton, cool dude, met him a few times. A uh, member of the Beards of the Old Northwest. Uh, side note on that. They are hosting a competition, uh, a pretty cool competition in August. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more information for that on you guys, for you guys later. Uh, they wanted me to tell you all about it, invite all of you. We want to see as many of you fuckers there as we can. Um, it's gonna be a hell of a party. So I'll be dropping more information on that later in the week. But just keep that in mind. Beards of the Old Northwest, uh, August 15th, I believe. Beard competition hosted by Great Lakes. You guys are gonna, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be a party. Uh, you'll want to be there. We'll all be there. I'll be there. Uh, you can see my beautiful face. Um, and, you know, meet a lot of cool crafters, lots of cool dudes. Back to the product. Uh, so, as I said, Waffen Dare Whisker, full product line. Hit the ingredients again for you real quick. Um, you got your apricot kernel, coconut oil, uh, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, and then either fragrance, essential oils, or a combination of the two. Uh, to put this to rest real quick, I know there's a lot of people out there don't like fragrance oils in their beard oil, uh, you know, they tend to dry your beard, uh, call base, all that stuff. Uh, Matt Beaton has assured me um, that he uses alcohol-free beard, uh, alcohol-free fragrance oils. Um, after two weeks, I gotta say, guys, I've noticed a single difference in terms of essential versus fragrance. Personally, I, I, I haven't, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, and especially his, there's no difference other than sweet, kick-ass, strong smells. So, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Don't let that hesitate. Don't let that stop you guys from checking out this this kick-ass stuff because I love it. So, um, last week I think I did a little write-up on hemp seed oil. We're going to talk about apricot kernel now because uh, it's a great oil. It's got some great properties, and I've noticed something personally when I use it and a way to kind of combat, com combat that. Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so it's kind of awkward. <coughs> um, and I'm dealing with trying not to do that the whole time. So, apricot kernel. Uh, one of the cool things about it, it's it's super rich in vitamin E, which, you know, is great for your skin, great for your hair. Um, it's a great, it's a great uh, detangler. It's a great, it, it's great at combating dry skin. It's awesome at strengthening your hair and, and also doing a little anti-aging magic on your face. Um, I personally don't give a shit about that, but some people might. Um, now, the one thing I've noticed when I use beard oils that have apricot kernel, I don't know if this is common. I don't know if this is anything I know anyone else has experienced. Um, but I, I found when I use oils that have a apricot kernel as one of the carriers, uh, it tends to kind of make my beard shrink and kind of contract. Uh, it really kind of kinks the curls is the best way to put it. Um, makes makes the curls real curly. Um, I've, I've done some experimenting. And the best way for me to combat that personally, the best way to, to overcome that, get a nice heavy duty leave-in conditioner balm. Um, just to name drop a few companies, you know, Roughneck Beer Batter, Bare Knuckles Inc. are two of the ones that I found that have worked the best. Um, there's plenty more out there, so don't don't just, you know, I'm not just trying to, to say those are the best, but those are the ones I own, those are the ones I've bought, those are the ones I've used that work best for it. Um, you get those, it kind of helps straighten up the curl, uh, and it really just adds to the, you know, kick-assness of the oil. <coughs> Again, I mean, you don't need to, obviously, because there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to I want to emphasize that there's nothing wrong with the oil. The curling of the hair is just something I personally don't like. I like my beard to look as long as possible. Uh, so that's, you know, all I got to say. So, back to the oils themselves. So Waffen Dare Whisker. Uh, he's got a cool line, some crazy awesome scents, guys. I'm not going to get into describing everyone because that's going to take forever. I'm going to talk about the Old Northwest Blend. It's the beard scent uh, designed for the beards of the Old Northwest group. Um, which is just a, a group of sweet kick-ass guys. I got to hang out with them tonight. It was fantastic. But this beard oil, literally the only product I've ever worn that has made my wife not... She hasn't been able to keep her hands off me when I wear this stuff. It's magic. Um, so for that alone, it's right here. Mm, you want this. I, I love this. This is what I wear when I want to get lucky, and it's worked every time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's all I got in the oil right now, guys. Like I said, it's a... Uh, 
it's a sweet oil. It's great. Um, it's got the spritzer, so you're not you don't have to worry about dropping it and losing your investment in the sink because that sucks. Um, put it in. I mean, this stuff lasts all day, guys. You get you get your hemp seed. It's it's a great uh, you know it's my, my beard always feels super rich in condition. It's got the apricot kernel, which gives it that sweet kick ass shine. I mean, my beard looks lustrous when I wear this stuff, guys. Compliments all day. Oh my god, your beard's so shiny. It's so clean. It's so bright. Yeah, it's fucking vibrant, guys. This is what you want. Um, and a kick-ass line of scents. Like I said, I'm not going to get into every one. But I will tell you, every scent that I've had from him has been super manly, super masculine. Um, they, they're they very... I don't want to say they smell like this because it's a bad example. But they are they bring to mind scents you'd smell. Um, you know, they, they remind me of like a real gritty manly smells. Uh, car shows, tattoo parlors, barber shops, all that stuff. Anywhere you expect to see like really big, burly, tattooed men, uh, bikers, you know, guys in the cars, greasers, all that stuff. That's what these scents are. If that's what you want out of a beard oil, you want something real strong and manly, you want to check them out. Um, I'm going to post the link in the comments. It's whiskeroil.storeenvy.com. Uh, great prices, great oil. One thing I will tell you guys, I got a scent that he hasn't released yet. It's fantastic. It's going to be, uh, don't want to drop the name. I'll let him do that later. Um, but it's, it's amazing guys. It's, it's a sweet scent. It's awesome. It's spicy. It's, it's great. The other thing uh, that I'm really excited about trying, when I met him tonight, he, he dropped this off for me personally to try and let you guys know about it. And this right here, um, unlabeled, unmarked, un, un, untouched, unreleased, uh, I, I, not too many people have tried it, but this, this is uh, something he's dropping, guys, it's his balm, um, and I'm really excited about it, because first off, it smells fucking, oh my god, it smells like heaven, uh, but the, the blend, it's his proprietary blend of oils, which I love. Uh, so I know it's going to be sweet. I know it's going to give me that really awesome conditioning. It's going to give me that really awesome shine that, that I've come to love and people have come to love and compliment me on. And it's a little bit of shea butter and beeswax. So it's going to have a nice hold, but not, it's going to be too, it's not going to be too stiff, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to be running this starting Monday all week with the beard oils. Uh, that's all it's going to be. It's going to be 100% Waff and Debrisker for a week. So stay tuned on those coming up. Um, like I said, you guys want to check this stuff out. I freaking love it. Uh, I promise you, you will too. Matt Beaton's a great dude. He'll appreciate the business. Give him a look. Give him a check out on Facebook. Whisker Oil. Um, Waffen Dare Whisker. It's, it's you know, Waffen, W-A-F-F-E-N, Dare Whisker with two R's. <coughs> um, Whiskeroil.storeenvy.com, guys. Check them out. It's it's a sweet product. I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed. I, I absolutely love the stuff. My wife loves the stuff, and that's that's not normal for her. She doesn't, she doesn't, hasn't been a huge fan of all the ones I've tried. She's loved every oil I think I've put in from here, especially that Old Northwest blend. Mm, do it. I'm going to go spritz some on right now and go upstairs and, and see if she's in the mood.